We're going to get into segment number two, Clemson versus Wofford helmet stickers. This is something we like to do, give out helmet stickers and also a $2 bill for the best performing player or person for the opposing team. But let's get started with uh, the Clemson side of things. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and grab this one off the board. And that is Travis Etienne. Man, he ran for 212 yards in a record-setting performance, I believe, past James Davis in his all-time uh, touchdown record, I believe, and then also tied C.J. Spiller. Great job for that. First Clemson rusher with three 200-yard games in his career. Uh, Etienne actually reached 200 yards by halftime. The first ACC running back to do that in 15 years. So big shout out to our guy, Travis Etienne. Man, I'd love to see one more year of him, but I don't think we're going to get it. Yeah, I don't think so either. As a matter of fact, we had a talk about this last week. I, I remember y'all were asking if he was going to, you know, break Priester's record. And I, I was kind of on the, on the, yeah, I think he's got a good shot at it, bus. And I, I got a little flack for that. But hey, after last week, I don't. I don't think it's looking so bad anymore. I think he's kind of on track to do that. So a huge game for him. Uh, so I took Ches Malusi. I took another running back. Um, you know, I, I like what I've seen out of Ches when he's got his opportunities this year, obviously late in the games, you know, but he runs hard, you know, had, had a good game this past weekend, eight rushes, 57 yards. He was the second leading rusher uh, in the game, actually uh, 7.1 yards average. So not bad. I think the, the running back stable looks like it's in good hands next year uh, with the assumption that Travis Etienne leaves for the, for the big show. Um, you know, we'll have Lynn J. Dixon, we'll have Chesma Lucy and Michael Duke. You know, that's not even, you know, to mention the kind of guy we got coming in with Demarcus Bowman, a five star running back coming in. So uh, looking looking really forward to the running back stable kind of being a strength of this team once again next year. Alan, I don't normally do this, but I'm going to do another offensive player as much as as we have and the media has just beat up on Trevor Lawrence over the this season. I had to give one to Trevor Lawrence this year. Uh, and I'm going to give it to him. Three touchdown passes uh, in a, for a fourth straight game. He had touchdown passes of 35 yards to Amari Rogers, 22 yards to T. Higgins, 34 yards to Justin Ross. Led the Tigers to a season high 702 yards total. Man, in a great game, obviously against Wofford, so not the most difficult of opponents there, but um, really you got to show support where he does well. And I think he managed the game well. I think he started to kind of, you know, trust his arm, but also manage the game and not be too confident. And he really hasn't made many mistakes in the past couple of weeks. So it's, it's exciting to see Trevor get into that postseason form, as people like to say. Yeah, it's de it's definitely refreshing to see that after some of the you know early picks he's thrown and kind of the the stuff people have been talking about you know that he's not where he was last year sophomore slump all that kind of nonsense. Uh, it's good to see him have a good couple of games regardless of who it's against. But uh, having said that, you are officially banned from helmet stickers from the year. Uh, two offensive players. That's not how it works. Uh, it's supposed to be one offense, one defense. All right, and I, I'm taking a defense. I'm taking Jake Venables. I mean, goodness gracious. Uh, I remember for the audience out there, I texted Morgan during the game. I don't remember when this was during the game, and I was like, look, if we're doing helmet stickers, I'm taking Jake Venables. Uh, it, it felt like you just heard his name over and over again on Saturday. You know, he had eight total tackles, five solo, three and a half tackles for loss. You know, it was just uh, – it doesn't seem like assignment football, something you have to worry about with this guy, which is, you know, uh, nothing, nothing special considering who his dad is. Uh, but that's a struggle for some people playing assignment football. Uh, you know, they want to go tackle the guy who's got the ball. And a lot of times that can get you killed in an option attack. And, and Jake Venables was having none of it. His name was called early. It was called often. And he did an awesome job on Saturday. Made the most of his opportunity. I really didn't have anybody else to give it to. Maybe KJ Henry. Maybe I thought he did pretty well, too. But um I think that uh, Jake Venables just played an awesome game. It's not, I, I didn't notice that he wears that collar on the back now. I don't know yeah. if that's something that he started out with. I don't think I remember seeing him with that early in the season, but now he's got it. So he definitely looks like a beast at the linebacker position and uh, definitely somebody at the beginning of the season that I tweeted before they got off of Twitter uh, that he was going to – I hoped he, that he had a breakout season and he retweeted it and it liked it. So uh, I think he was definitely focused on making a name for him himself and he's doing it at the right time peaking in November kind of like Dabo Sweeney said this this uh, week in his press conference there's some teams that come out start, uh, fast there's some teams that come out slow and there's some teams that come out average but the, the thing is is who gets to that finish line first and that's what Clemson is all about is getting there it doesn't matter how you start it matters how you finish um, 
And uh, it's my show, Al, so I can do two <laughs> offensive players if I want to. You know this. You know the rules. There is no rules. And whatever I whatever I want, I make up. The $2 bill, which is you know something we give out as we go on away games, but this is something that we give out for our opposing players. And I'm going to give it to Luke Carter, Walford's kicker. I posted something on Twitter about this. Two for two for extra points. Nine punts. Man, that's a lot of punts. But 396 yards, 44-yard average punt, and 51-yarder. Uh, definitely did better than uh, Will Spires as far as average punt. And uh, he was one of these guys that back in 2013 was a high school um, player of the year as far as punting is concerned from, concerned from the USAA, USA Today. So uh, he's definitely somebody that, that I, I would have loved to have seen in a Clemson uniform. I don't know why he didn't come to Clemson, but uh, obviously did a great job there in uh, a lot of work. He worked overtime against uh, Clemson. Yeah, I think that was a that's a great pick, and it's somebody you know I often overlook the punter uh, in this kind of situation. I'm glad you were able to pick it out because he had an amazing game. Uh, I I took uh, Demaria Van Cleve. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce his name. I almost didn't pick him simply because I wasn't sure how to pronounce his name. Uh, he only had one reception, but he made it count it was for 79 yards and a score. So going to give him a little love for that long reception against a great defense. And um, R. White saying over on YouTube, did the announcer accidentally say Brent Venables one time when Jake Venables uh, tackled somebody? I, you know, you would know. I, I can't remember if that was this week or not, but it has happened before. And apparently he doesn't take too kindly to that. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you, you, you got to give some slack to us guys. Okay. We don't, we're not professionals or anything. They're not professional. <laughs> no, they are. But, you know, it is, it is confusing sometimes, but um that would be kind of, I mean, like I said, I think if you're a guy who grew up in that system, grew up in that family, and you understand kind of how Brent Venables runs a defense, there's no re and you, you had the right build for it. There's no reason for you not to be successful at a linebacker position if you're, if you've got a last name of Venables. So I look yeah. forward to see what he can do uh, 